Hello and welcome to the 83rd episode of the Sock Bunny Knit and Fit video podcast. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny, and today is Monday, May 20th, 2013. I'm recording in sunny Florida in the United States of America on the planet Earth. I am Sock Bunny pretty much everywhere on the internet, such as my fitness pal, Ravelry, Plurk, Instagram, Google+, Twitter, iTunes, YouTube, and Blip.TV. I printed out my show notes today, so I will be looking down a little bit. The blog is at SockBunnyKnitAndFit.blogspot.com. The email address is SockBunnyKnitAndFit at gmail.com, and the Etsy shop is SockBunnyStudios.etsy.com. I also have a Facebook page, and that's at Facebook.com slash SockBunnyStudios. What are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about fitness, finished objects, works in progress, knit and crochet alongs, stash enhancement, tips and tricks, favorite things, and what I am watching and reading. I have a ton to show you. You should see how much stuff I have scattered around me. And um, so I have a lot to show you, so let's hop right into it. First, I want to say a big thank you to Geeky Girls Knit, who is Java Pearl, for leaving me a great iTunes review. And also, thank you to everybody for your uh, star ratings. And um, I can't see iTunes reviews from other countries, so if you're in another country and you left me an iTunes review, I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much to everybody. Uh, for all of your kind words. I really do appreciate it. Um, welcome to any new members, new viewers who happen to be watching. I hope you like it and that you'll come back. And I first want to show you uh, what is going to be, uh, well, what happened in yesterday's shop update, also in the shop update that took place on Mother's Day, because some of that is still in the shop. So first, uh, this week I had um, fiber. This is Paul Worth fiber. It's feltable. It's not super wash. So I have um, this is called Girly. And actually the lighting is not too bad. It's about to uh, storm here, so it's overcast outside. So this is sort of accurate. This is called Girly. It's pinks and purples. And each of these is around 4 ounces. Some are like 3.9, some are 4.1, so they're around four ounces. The next one I have is called Would You Like Some Cheese With That Wine? And one of these has a little bit of uh, white, some white spots in it. And the other one has a little bit less white spots in it. And also we have Birds of a Feather done in Polworth. Polworth is my favorite, favorite fiber to spin. That's This is pinks and purples and blues. It's pretty accurate there. And then the last one I have is my favorite, and it is Motel Curtains! Ah, motel Curtains! I think, I think I might be spinning a sweater's worth of Motel Curtains for my Tour de Fleece. That is the direction in which I am leaning. <laughs> I mean, how awesome would that be? And if you don't know what Tour de Fleece is, it runs along with Tour de France in July. And um, while they're spinning their wheels on their bicycles, we spin our wheels, our spinning wheels, and we spin fiber. So that's what I think my Tour de Fleece goal is going to be, is uh, spinning, you know, enough for a sweater. And it might be motel curtains. Eee! That's so me, right? Okay. And then we also had some yarn. And I have the new MCN base, which I'm calling Janie. And I can't remember if I showed you these or not, so I'm going to show them to you again. Um, we have, this one is, would you like some cheese with that wine? This one is retro sunglasses, which is oranges and reds and blues. This one is greyhounds on the beach, which is browns and tans and blues. And this one is make like a tree and leave. Then I also have some sparkly yarns. There's four of those. This one is called Running With Scissors. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things about playing The Sims 2, which I used to play. Now I play Sims 3. Um, it's on the sparkly base, but it's uh, red and silverish gray um, to look like a pair of scissors, but also it could be, you know, blood. Because <laughs> in Sims 2, that's your favorite. My favorite way to kill my Sim was Running With Scissors. And then I have... Um, cupcake, uh, birthday cupcake frosting, which is pink, and it's sparkly. And I also have pants on fire, 
which is a uh, fluorescent yellow, a fluorescent orange, and black, and it's an unsparkly yarn, and it will glow under a black light. I mean, seriously, could you get any better than that? And then we have Oh Happy Day, which is greens and yellows and some bare areas. And that's also on the sparkle baby. Show the sparkles, baby. Come on, show off your sparkles. Come on. There you go. Well, you can see a little bit. A little bit of sparkle there. Okay, so that's what is in the shop update from last week and this week. We do have a coupon code going on through the end of May to help you prepare for Socks Travaganza, which I will talk about later. And that coupon code is Socks2013, Socks2013. Um, and that is good through the end of May for 10% off your entire order. Um, speaking of spinning a sweater, I wanted to show you the sweater that I think I'm going to spin for for Tour de Fleece. I know I'm talking about Tour de Fleece, but seriously, people, it's the middle of May. July will be here before you know it. You need to start thinking about these things. So I had bought this a while back at a local yarn store, and it's called Boku, and it's mitered squares that are turned into a sweater, and here's what the back looks like. So I think this might, might be the sweater that I knit. It's just going to depend on how my yarn turns out, um, whether it's the right weight. I wonder what this calls for. Let's see. Uh, does it say what weight? But it says the gauge is 18 stitches equals 4 inches using size 8 needles. So we'll just have to see if I get gauge and um, what happens. But that is what I'm thinking of doing for Tour de Fleece. I know, crazy. Can't believe we're already talking about Tour de Fleece. All right, let me put this over here so I don't lose it. Okay, oh, notes. All right, so, um, oh, and my chair is squeaking. My chair is breaking. Yay! I know, you're like, why? why is she happy that her chair is breaking? Well, I have been wanting an Ikea chair for years, and I got this chair about two years ago at Goodwill for $25. I have got my money's worth out of this chair, people, and I love this chair, but one day I sat in it and the spring broke, which I think is sort of funny because I've lost weight and now my chair breaks. What is up with that? <laughs> so it's making this annoying squeaking noise, so I, I'm sorry if it bugs you, if you can hear it. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. Um, let's talk about fitness. Fitness! We have a fitness along going on in the Sock Bunny Ravelry group. We have it every month. If you work out any day at least 30 consecutive minutes, or if you're aware of pedometer and it registers at least 10,000 steps for that day, you get one entry per day. And um, at the beginning of the month, I choose a winner. And the winner gets either free from me a $5 giftable pattern on Ravelry or some bare sock yarn or fiber that I will dye for you in up to three colors. So we have that going on. So if you're working out, you might as well enter it in the thread and try to win, right? So the first week in um, June, I will draw the May winner. Now, the April poster along. We have a fitness poster along. All the rules are in the Ravelry group. I'm not going to go into them here, but you um, need to enter your poster the first seven days of the month. So if you want to join in in June, Make your fitness poster and post it between June 1st and June 7th. Go look at the Ravelry group. All the rules are there. Um, we had 10 people finish the April poster, and um, I drew the winner right before. Actually, I'll, I'll confess. I've already recorded part of this podcast once, and I didn't like how it was turning out. I was sort of, ah! So I decided to start over, but I did write down who won, and so I don't want you to think I'm cheating. I really did. I drew it live on air. But then I had to, you know, start over. So, but I know who the winner is. So anyway, we had 10 people start and finish their fitness posters in April. So they are Am I Yes I Am, who is Suzanne, Die Cat, who is Diana, Kathy, who is Kathy G, Grandma Lissa Knits, who is Melissa, Allison Rose Boom, who is Allison, Retro Lemon, who is Jenna, Apple 380, who is Jamie, L-M-E-C-O-L-L, -L, who is Linda, Whisk Knitter, who's Eileen, and Jess Dodd, who is Jesse. And I want to say a big congratulations to all of you for doing your fitness posters. I'm very, 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 very proud of you. I can't even tell you in words how, how proud I am of you. Keep up the good work. Keep doing your posters. Keep motivating yourself. I'm very proud. And I did draw the winner. Like I said, the winner is number 10, Jesse! Jess Dodd! Woo! Jessie is 
one of the hostesses of the multi-craft multi-craftual podcast. I love her to pieces. She's such a hoot. If you haven't watched that podcast, you really need to go watch them. Um, she's a co-host with Libby, who is Libby Ball. They're just funny. They sing, they dance, they have cute cats. They are just amazing. And they're such sweet friends. They're so sweet to each other. So uh, congratulations, Jesse. Now, Jesse, what did you win? Well, Jesse, you have your choice. I'm going to give you a choice. You can choose either a $5 Ravelry pattern or an anonymous viewer donated two books. And you can have these two books or the pattern, whichever you think you would like better. If you don't want the books, then I will try next month and, you know, give them away then. But I want you to get something that you want. First book is called Hip to Knit. And I would say this is a good book for somebody who's a new knitter or somebody who wants to improve their knitting skills. It has a lot of techniques. Um, it says 18 contemporary projects for today's need, uh, today's knitter. And it has a lot of basic, but, but nice things. Like it has a vest pattern in here. Um, it has a lot of technique areas. It has a cardigan. There are hats, socks, scarves, mittens, um, all different kinds of things. It's really good for, like I said, somebody who's a beginner knitter or somebody who is, um, uh, like say they have a lot of pictures with techniques and stuff. So, uh, somebody who wants to increase their knitting skills. Now, this book is adorable. And if I liked knitting toys, I would re arm wrestle you for this book, but I don't like knitting toys. Lucky for you. So there are different sections in here, and it's called World of Knitted Toys. And this, again, was donated by an anonymous viewer. Thank you very much. And um, there are several sections um, called In the Jungle, Australian Outback, Down the Down on the Farm, The Deep Blue Sea, Forest Friends, On Safari, and The Snowy Regions. This is sort of a mini book review. Um, and also, it's a prize. So here are the stuffies that you would get to knit in the jungle. You can see there's a little... Um, Indian guy and a parrot and a tiger. It's really adorable. And then in the section called um, Australian Outback, you can see that's adorable. And there is a kangaroo and a little joey and koala bears. Then there's another section called Down on the Farm. I love the little kitty cat. Look familiar, Jesse? Hmm? And then um, you have a duck, which I love, and a cow, or a bull, I guess that is, and some pigs. Dawn from Wolf Farms, are you looking at this? And a little farmer girl, so that was down on the farm. And then we have the deep blue sea, which has some sea creatures, shark, turtle, whale and there is forest friends you have a raccoon and a moose adorable I'm not sure how well you guys are able to see all that and then on safari has a um, zebra and an elephant adorable I wish I loved making toys because I there's several in here I would love to make but no I am not a fan and then we have the snowy regions baby seal penguins little wolf so that is it it's a really adorable book so Jesse let me know do you want these two knitting books or do you want a five dollar pattern it's up to you and congratulations so again, if you want to join our uh, poster along, you, need, you will need to post your beginning poster the first seven days of June. And all the rules are in the Ravelry group. Okay, my fitness poster, I am up to 672 miles out of 1,000. If you are a new viewer, I have a fitness poster where I um, am tracking my mileage. And when I get to 1,000 miles, I get to go stay at a resort at Disney World called the Contemporary Resort, which I've wanted to stay at since I was little. And I'm at 672 miles. You can see I have all these stickers on here for my mileage. And I do earn rewards every 40 miles. And I've earned quite a few since the last time I showed this. Um, I have, I've earned my Ikea mug. I've earned my sheep and a bikini button that I got from Tangerine Designs. Um, 
I have a blank spot here that I've earned. I also earned a custom bag and I ordered a Star Wars, a Star Trek bag. How dare I say that? Star Wars. Wash my mouth out. <laughs> I heard a Star Trek bag that I ordered the other day. This spot's still open, though. Um, when I get to 800, I'm going to replace my chair and get the IKEA chair. So we'll get there. Um, I didn't get to go to spin class very much over the last couple of weeks because I've ha been having headaches and I haven't been feeling good. Um, but I did go on Saturday morning. That was a big mistake. I was, like, dizzy in the class and everything. <sighs> But I survived it. I am going to go tonight. In fact, right before I started recording again, I uh, called and reserved my bike for tonight. Yay! I'm actually feeling a lot better today. So um, I was going to call the doctor, but then today I started feeling a little better. Tomorrow, if I'm feeling better, then I won't call the doctor. But if I'm feeling still bad, then I will. Oh, and I wear my Doctor Who shirt. Bow ties are cool. Because we had the Doctor Who finale on on uh, Sunday night, Saturday night, Saturday night, and yes, I cried. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, let's talk about knitting. Finished objects. I have a few finished objects. The first one is a tiny little sock. I am working on an advent calendar made out of tiny little socks. This is sock number five, and I made it sort of longer than the other ones. I'm making each one just a little bit different. And this is sock number five. This is made out of Drops Fable in the guacamole colorway. This was like my third pair of socks ever was made out of this yarn, and I love it. And I have enough to make another pair. My first pair is getting really worn out because I wear them a lot. So I probably soon, maybe during sock, uh, sock extravaganza, I might be needing another pair out of this yarn because I love it. So that is number five out of the little tiny Advent socks. And then I have my Sedona sweater. It's finished, except I didn't weave in the ends. And I also had purchased some um, hook and eye fasteners for the front. I haven't put those on yet, but all the knitting's done. It's been soaked and um, blocked. This yarn softened up quite a bit. I made this out of Patton's Classic Worsted, and um, it's uh, it softened up quite a bit. And in fact, I have some more of this knit, I mean I have some more of this in red and I think it would be worth the effort to wash the yarn before I use it. I'm going to hang it and wash it and uh, then knit with it because it softened up a lot when I washed it. So why not get to knit with softer yarn. So here's the Sedona. Again my ends have not been woven in. So. I am going to try it on in a second. It is extremely hot here today. I have the fan going full blast and I'm still hot. Part of that is also, you know, my fun time of life. So this is the Sedona. It's a basic cardigan and I'm going to stand up and I apologize. I'm wearing yoga pants. Deal with it. <laughs> Actually, these yoga pants are huge on me. Look at this. Look at this. They have gotten so big. I bought these back in December and they were tight. And now they're like baggy. So I need new yoga pants, but I don't want to buy any until I get a lot smaller. So so here we go. Here's the bottom of the sweater. Here's the back. And here is the front. This is what it looks like. Ugh. I'm sitting on the... Uh... There we go. So I'm going to put little um, hook and eye closures right here on the front, just at the top, just to hold it closed. You can see it's just a short cardigan. This yarn, I can't not believe how much softer it got when I washed it. It's crazy. So there we go. And this is, like I said, is a very good beginner sweater because all you need to know how to do is knit and purl and yarn over. That is it. There's no um, shaping or anything in it, so you don't have to know how to slip, slip, knit, or knit two together or anything like that. So I am very happy with it. Yay! So I'm going to take it off now because it is really hot in here. Bow ties are cool, people. Right? So I'm very happy with that. I definitely want to knit this again in a cotton blend. Um, this is going to be perfect, though. I believe, I don't think I will wear it very much in the summer. But in the fall, I totally can see myself wearing that a lot. And actually, you know what I think would look good with that? An orange shirt with a purple. <sighs> yeah, I know you think I'm crazy, but that's okay. So that is Sedona, and I love it, love it, love it, and I definitely give it two thumbs up, and I will definitely knit that again, like I said, in a cotton blend. Um, 
over the weekend I went a little dishcloth crazy and knit a bunch of dishcloths. Um, Rachel's best friend is uh, just got her first apartment and so I wanted to make some. I'm going to make up a bunch and let her choose a bunch of them and then I'll keep whichever ones she doesn't like. Um, I'm going to make like a dozen and let her take half of them because we need new dishcloths too. Ours are getting sort of ratty. So I just, um, it, all this yarn is either peaches and cream or sugar and cream. So here's a grandmother's favorite. I like them smaller. I don't like big giant dishcloths. Um, I like them smaller. The yarn, the fabric tends to stretch anyway when it gets wet. So it does get bigger when it gets wet. So um, that's a grandmother's favorite. I like to do them without holes. I don't like the, the holes around the edge on the grandma's favorite. So what I do for my grandmother's favorite, instead of doing the yarn over, I do a knit front and back. And then I have the same yarn. I think this is sugar and cream. I'm not sure though. Um, I did just a square. Now the ends have been woven in, of course. So that's those two. And then I did this one. This one I know is peaches and cream. So it reminds me of peas and carrots, that colorway. And then I crocheted one and put a cute little border around it. And I did another grandmother's favorite. My chair squeaking is driving me crazy. Okay, and then also I'll show it here. This is a work in progress, but I am also making her, uh, it's a dish towel, and it's the kind that you hang from either your stove or your, um, like from your refrigerator door or your cabinet door or something like that, and it's just like a towel to wipe your hands on. So I'm almost done. I have to finish knitting this part, and then it'll flap over, and there'll be a button. And it's a mitered cloth. I can't remember the designer, but um, it's in my project page, so if you want to go look at it. Very simple. And it was a free pattern. So I went a little dishcloth crazy. Sometimes you just need to knit a dishcloth, you know? And I love using that. Once you use a knit dishcloth, you'll never, never, never go back to a regular dishcloth. I promise. Okay, so that's the dishcloths. And then... Um, oh, also I want to tell you that um, if you remember, I had crocheted a workout towel for using in spin class, and I used it on Saturday morning, and I made a long, skinny towel, and I used it Saturday morning, and I liked using it. I liked the way it felt. I liked the length of it. Everything was good. I'm going to wash it a few times and use it a few more times, and then I'll re report back to you. I made it out of, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby, and I will let you know if I'm going to make more. I wanted to just go ahead and start the second one, but I'm like, no, let's wait and see if we like it. Although I really think I'm going to like it. So, And the reason I chose that, um, I love this cotton, is because the cotton that you use for uh, like sugar and cream and peaches and cream is really scratchy, especially after it's been washed. Uh, it's perfect for washing dishes, but it's not good for a workout face cloth. So um, I will let you guys know how that goes. Works in progress. Wait. Yes. Those were my, uh, okay, I started works in progress. I told you, I'm like really out of it today. <laughs> okay, we are having a hand spun knit along, weave along, crochet along, and I am making a scarf out of some hand spun that I did you last summer or the summer before. And this is in my cute little bag from um, Knit Run Dig. She has an Etsy shop. Aliens. Space aliens. And I got some progress done. I think I started the ninth hexagon. And this is where I was last time we saw it. I didn't work on it very much, obviously. I do want to try to finish this before the end of the month, even though I'm not eligible for prizes. And I'm really enjoying it. I have a lot of ends to weave in, but that's okay. And this is very me. If you are a new viewer, these colors sum me up. I am a very bright lime green, orange, hot pink kind of person. So that is for our current knit along, spin along, weave along. You have until May 31st to enter that. I'll close the thread on June 1st. And you are going to be able to win a bag that was donated by... Um, oh, this chair is driving me crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear that squeaking. Um, from Useful Things, Amy. And this is the bag wrapped up, but this is what it looks like. Here's mine that is not wrapped up. It has a zippered section and some little sections in here. 
and she's useful things on Etsy and she does take do these bags as a custom order if you're interested and I love this bag because of course it's orange and pink and you know I love those colors <laughs> okay so that is your uh, possible prize for the uh, the uh, hand spun knit along spin along and crochet along weave along not spin along where did I put my pencil? There it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, next, I have my Tap and Z sweater. And this is made out of some yarn that I hand dyed myself. And yes, it is this green. There you go. Okay. It's not quite as neon as you're seeing, but almost. So I'm in the middle of a row, but that's okay. You can still see. This is the front. That's the front. And I'm not doing it as written in uh, it's far as there was a second row of diamonds down here. But in the pictures that I saw people wearing it, the diamonds sort of accentuated a certain part of the female anatomy that I don't want accentuated, <laughs> to, put it, to put it nicely. So I decided to leave that row of diamonds out. And this is the back. And you can see this is where I was last time. And I've gotten quite a bit done here. And I love, 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 love this sweater. This is a really good second sweater. If you did the Sedona as your first sweater, you definitely could do this as your second sweater. This one does have some um, knit two togethers and stuff like that, as long as well as the yarn overs. But it definitely is um, something you could do as a second sweater. I'm very, very happy. This is my own hand dyed um, sugar DK, and I wanted to knit it and wear it for a while to make sure that I wanted to start uh, dyeing uh, sweaters quantities for other people. I figured I'd better test it out before I uh, sell it to anybody else. Know what I mean? So that's the Tap and Z, and that's a free pattern on Nitty.com. And then I have some socks that I am going to release as a free pattern. They are called Aurora Borealis. Let me find them. They're called Aurora Borealis, and the yarn that I'm using is my own hand dyed in my Aurora Borealis colorway. And so I decided to name the sock the same thing. And you can see that I am just past, well, I'm like halfway down the foot now. This pattern is going to be released to test knitters in the next couple of days. So if you are interested in being a test knitter, you only have to knit one of the two socks. And um, it's going to be a free pattern as soon as, probably like a month it'll be released as a free pattern. So I have this one, but I wanted to re-knit it again, re-knit the pattern just to make sure I hadn't missed anything. So I started a second one in another one of my colorways, which is called, this one's called Retro Sunglasses. And I'm knitting the other foot. <laughs> it's sort of hard to tell. I just finished um, picking up the stitches around the gusset. And um, so far, so good. And like I said, I'm going to knit a little tiny bit more on this, and then I'll be releasing this to the test knitters, I would say, in the next couple of days. And thank you to everybody who has um, asked to be a test knitter. I really, really appreciate it. And one last thing to show in my works in progress. I know, craziness, right? is I am working on some time traveler socks. I took these to a baseball game. Heather WB and her husband came to town Mother's Day weekend and we went the um she came, her husband came, and then my husband and I and my daughter all went to a Tampa Bay Rays baseball game. And so this was my knitting that I took to the game. This is in my Dalek bag from Tangerine Designs. Doctor Who the Daleks are Doctor Who's mortal enemy. And then I am working on Time Traveler socks, which is a Knit Picks discontinued yarn. Uh, if you have this yarn in your stash and you're not going to use it, you should probably put it on D-Stash on uh, Ravelry because I know people that are looking for it. So you would definitely be able to sell it. Um, I've done one repeat of the colors 
uh, there's five stripes, one, two, three, four, five, oh, six stripes, I don't know how to count, six stripes, and I'm starting back on the tan again, so I did a full repeat of the sock pattern, or the striping pattern, and I like it, it's Knit Picks, uh, it's Knit Picks Essential, I think, let me look and see, oh, it's Knit Picks Belici, and the Time Travel, Time Traveler colorway, Knit Picks Belici, in the time travel color time traveler colorway and the guy who was in front of me was a doctor who fan and he was making comments about you know my bag and he said that he named his bird tardis which is what uh, doctor who calls his time traveling machine so i thought that was pretty cool <laughs> um okay so that's it for works in progress i want to talk about upcoming knit and crochet alongs and events sock stravaganza is only a couple of weeks away I can't believe it. I can't believe it's already the middle of May. Um, so I wanted to let you know what I have planning for Sock Stravaganza. I did put all this information in a thread in the Sock Bunny Ravelry group in the Sock Stravaganza Chatter thread. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to come over to the Chatter thread and you can show us what, you're, what you are planning on working on, um, any patterns that you think you're going to use, whatever yarn you're going to use, whatever. So I wanted to let you know what the plans are. So, we will be having several categories for this knit along. You can enter your socks in as many categories as applicable, and you can knit as many pairs of adult socks as you would like. The, there will be one general thread where all socks can go, and then you will also be able to post a, um, additional pictures in the following threads. So, to sum up, there will be a general thread and then these other categories, and you can cross post to as many as your socks fit into. So, there's going to be one called Design Your Own Socks, self-striping yarn, lace, vanilla, color work, socks knit with Sock Bunny Studios yarn, and then there's another thread that's going to be called pictures of socks being knit in public. And that's where, like say, you took your socks to a baseball game, like I did. You can take a picture of your socks out in the wild, and uh, that's just going to be a, a, where people can post fun pictures, and that will be drawn, the winner will, for, will be drawn randomly. All these will be random prize winners. Um, all pairs of socks must be 50% or less completed as of June 1st to be entered into this contest. If I knit, um, and I want to give an example of how you could cross post your socks into many categories. If I knit a pair of lace socks with self striping yarn, the photo would be posted in the general thread, the lace thread, and the striping thread. The knit along will run from June 1st through August 31st. And like I said, feel free to chatter it up in the chatter thread. If you have any questions or comments or anything you want to say, definitely. Uh, or if you have, you know, anything like a question, let me know. Um, I want to show the prizes. And I have a bunch of yarn that I'm going to give away. I will show that next week. Um, this week I'm going to show some prizes that I got received in the mail. These were donated by a very generous viewer. She does not have an Etsy shop, but I think she should. Her name is Judy Lee 59 Knits. And she donated some project bags, and she donated one that I get to keep, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so her name is Judy Lee 59 Knits on Ravelry. So thank you, Judy, very much for donating these. They are awesome. The first one is, and these will, uh, three of these will be prizes for the Sock Stravaganza Knit Along. The first one is this really adorable elephant bag. And it's pink on the outside and pink on the inside. Really very well constructed. I love them very much. Whoever wins these is going to be super lucky. So that's the first one. The second one I love. It's got these bright colored smiley faces and orange fabric on the top and on the inside. You know I love the orange. That was adorable. And then the third one is ladybugs. So it's got ladybugs on the bottom and then um, black on the top and red spots on the inside. How cute is that? I love that. And then the last one I get to keep, and I'm super, super, super excited about this. I bet you're going to be able to guess why. If you are a previous viewer, you know that I love flamingos. Oh, my gosh. She said she saw this fabric in the store and immediately thought of me. <laughs> I don't know why. This is larger than the other ones, and it's very roomy. Look how roomy that is. 
and very nicely done on the inside. And it has the pull cords on the top. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. It's been so hard for me to hold this and not use it while I've been waiting to podcast. <sighs> Look how pretty. Eee, tropical and flamingos. Thank you. 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 <laughs> So uh, I am going to take pictures of all the prizes and post them in the chatter thread so that everybody knows what they could possibly win. Um, we do have some other things coming. Um, also, um, Patchworks by Debbie. She has a lot of um, sock patterns and hat patterns and so forth. Mostly her stuff is color work. She's donating a prize, a, a pattern to, as a prize. Um, like I said, I have a bunch of yarn. Somebody else is mailing some yarn to me, so I'll show those next week. Um, but we do have some awesome stuff lined up for Sock Stravaganza. I am super excited about Sock Stravaganza. Could you tell? Um, let's see. Also, um, so that's June, July, August for Sock Stravaganza. September, October, November, I'm going to be having a hat, ugh, talk. hat, scarf, mitten drive for Pinellas Hope. And um, that is a local homeless shelter. And it's going to be any age, any gender of uh, hats, scarves, and mittens. Also in September, October, November, we're going to be having a knit along for the Bee Leaf Half Pie Shell, which is my design. Um, I am going to have a review next week. Um, and the anonymous viewer who donated those other books donated this book called Custom Knits by Wendy Bernard. I really like a lot of the stuff in here, so I'm going to do a book review on this next week. Squeak! That is so annoying. Um, okay, now let's talk about stash enhancement. Uh, first, I want to say a big thank you to France, who is France A on Ravelry. She donated a bunch of yarn for uh, my daughter Sarah and her classmates, and um, she said I could have some of it too, but what I'm going to do is let um, Sarah She's coming home um, at the end of June for a couple of weeks, and so uh, I'm going to let her pick what she wants first and anything that she doesn't take with her. I mean, she could take all of it if she wants to. Whatever she doesn't take, then I will keep, and I'll show you guys at that time. But um, France was really nice and even sent some Noro, so that's super, super nice. Um, if you haven't watched before, Sarah is my older daughter. She is 20. She lives in Rhode Island. She's going to school to study to be a Catholic missionary. And um, we have gotten to see her very little over the last few years. She's been up in Rhode Island since her senior year of high school, and she is just finishing up her third year of college. And we are going to get to see her for two weeks at the end of June, which is probably more time than we've spent with her in the last four years combined. So we are beyond excited. She had, she did ask for special permission to get to come home for that long. Um, I was hoping to get to go up there in August for her birthday, but that just didn't work out because they're getting back from a trip that day, blah, blah, blah. It's just not going to work out. I'm really sad because I really want to be with her on her 21st birthday. I haven't been with her on her birthday since she, her 15th birthday. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> so... Um, <sighs> My next thing, if since I can't go up there for her birthday in August, I'm going to try try to work it out to where I can go up there and be up there around the same time as Ryan Beck, which is in October. So that's the next thing that we're looking into. Um, anyway, so we're super excited about Sarah coming home at the end of June. Um, we're going to... Uh, she and I are going to be in Atlanta for at least a few days visiting my friend Sandy that I stayed uh, with. Sorry, motorcycle. Um, my friend Sandy that I stayed with when I went to Stitches in Atlanta. So uh, we're going to stay there with Sandy at least a few days, and we'll be here for the rest of the time. And I'm just really going to be happy to have my baby home with me. Yes, she's 20, but she's still my baby. <laughs> and speaking of my baby, for Mother's Day, <laughs> she knows how to make me cry. For Mother's Day, <laughs> even though she's 20, she made me a card of her hand. <laughs> Oops, there we go. And yes, I cried when I read it. <laughs> I cry really easy though, so don't be all don't be concerned. But I just thought that was so this is my this is my favorite thing for this week. So I just thought you'd like to see that. So um another thing that I got in the mail that I'm super excited about. This is a thing I ordered, and it is um 
It's from an Etsy shop called Ladybug Hill Farm. She is somebody that I follow on Instagram. She started sewing bags made out of feed bags. And she has bunnies. And she took a bag from her actual bunnies. Her actual bunnies ate this food. And she took this bag. It's a feed bag. And she made it into a bag. She sewed it. And I just love the artwork on the bag and the little tips and tricks that it gives you about bunnies. Like it says, never pick up rabbits by the ears or neck. That's what it says there. Keep clean, fresh water available, different things like that. I just love this bag so, so, so much. Um, some of the newer ones that she's been selling actually um, uh, are lined. This one's not lined. It's just, you know, a feed bag. But, I mean, isn't this adorable? It's called recycling. I think I hear my husband coming home from work. Okay, but she also, she wrapped it really cute, and she had some twine wrapped around it, and there was a cute little sun. She gave me a little sun ring, which I think is adorable. I'm going to give this to my daughter, Sarah, because her name is Sarah Sunshine. That's her nickname. And then John John likes to use it as a nap bag. Hi, John John. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, everybody. Yay. John John. I know how much you guys love him, so he decided he wanted to surprise you. Surprise! Okay, nap time again! Crazy rabbit. Okay. Alrighty, so that is from an Etsy shop called Ladybug Hill Farm. You should totally go check her stuff out. She's got chicken bags, too. Uh, I'm not sure what else she might have, but I just think that's such a cute, adorable idea. Rachel got me something the other day that I'm going to use um, when I go to the Y and lay out by the pool, which I desperately need to do because obviously I am very white. She got me some flamingo clips that you uh, use to hold your uh, your beach towel to the chair. Adorable. So those are from Rachel, my daughter. And Rachel also got me some knitting needles for Mother's Day of her own free will. So I had her get me some size for a knitter pro Knitter's Pride Dreams. And she also bought me some um, circulars to use for socks. And let's see. Okay, this next thing, you might want to hold your ears because I'm going to get really squeaky and squealy. <laughs> this is from Sally in Idaho. And... I just have one word to say. Dalek. <laughs> she knit a snowman Dalek. I know it's hard to tell in this light, but he's. she actually even sent the twigs. I lost the twig for his nose. I'm going to have to find his nose twig, find a nose twig. But uh, she sent me tw little twigs. It's a snowman Dalek. She took a, a pattern for an egg cozy and turned it into the Dalek snowman. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. And Rachel has tried to steal it so many times, and I will not let her steal it, because she's obsessed, almost as obsessed as I am with Daleks. Thank you, Sally. I love it so, so, so much. So I have my little collection of stuffies up here, and I have my... So now I have my flamingo, and my snail, and my Dalek, all knit by wonderful viewers. And I love them all. Well, this was crocheted, but you know what I mean. I need to get a little shelf over there, or over here, where they can sit. Maybe next to my good Ikea, get a little shelf for them to sit on. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Sally, so much. And last but not least, just today I received from Am I Yes I Am, Suzanne, I received a pattern called Curious Collective Shawl from Helen Stewart Designs. And I think it's, um, I read it, I didn't quite understand it, but I think it's where you um, get to choose different, uh, the different sections of the shawl, how it's designed, and then she sent you the finished product, the finished pattern or something like that. I'll have to look more into it, but thank you, thank you, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Oh, man, we're already 44 minutes in. Okay, tips and tricks. We do have a thread in the Sock Bunny Ravelry group if you want to leave a tip or a trick or a suggestion. I have um, a thread in the Sock Bunny Ravelry group uh, from last time where I said what's in your notions bag, and that's really cute. So if you haven't done so yet, please go over and show me a picture or at least write down what you have in your notions bag. 
And my tip or trick for today is using hooks on the side of metal cubes. Now, if you notice above me, I have these metal cubes that I got at Target, and they and I have these bins in them that I got at, at IKEA, and I keep my knitting stuff in there. And you can see yarn up there and all that. But if you look on the side, there are some pieces of some hanks of wool hanging from them. And my tip or trick is when you're using these cubes, whether you're using them, like I have some um, that I'm using as a shelf over here. One of these days I'm going to have to give you guys a new tour of my craft room since I've rearranged it. Um, but I have a bunch of cubes hanging there. And on the sides of the cubes, I have sock yarn hanging from those. And I'm using these hooks that I got at Ikea. But you can use any um, kind of a, you can even bend a paper clip backwards and use it. Or I'm actually on some of them, because um, I have some of my hand spun hanging there. I uh, am using um, hooks from Christmas tree ornaments. <laughs> so that is my tip or trick that when you have these wire cubes, you can use the outside of them as storage. Also, you're welcome. <laughs> And let's see, uh, favorite things I showed you was my hand-shaped card from Sarah. And when I'm watching and reading, I did, um, what, like I said, I watched Doctor Who season two finale. Yes, it made me cry. I am watching Star Trek, the original series, because we're going to go see the Star Trek, uh, the new movie, um, Into Darkness. I haven't seen it yet. We were going to see it this weekend, but my head was just killing me. And I don't think a movie with a lot of explosions is a really good idea when you have a headache. So, uh, but Rachel saw it. She said she saw it in IMAX, and it was fantastic. So, um, so I'm re-watching Star Trek original series just to sort of put myself in the mood. And uh, I was watching the other day, and they showed, I can't remember the actual episode name is, but it's the one where there, where um, there's a malfunction of the thing that they use for, to beam, you know, uh, what is that thing called? Anyway, you know, to beam from planets or whatever. And um, uh, there was an evil Captain Kirk beamed on board. So you had good Kirk and evil Kirk. And evil Kirk was so evil! <laughs> so I really love that. And um, I also really love watching documentaries, as I mentioned before, and I finished watching the Ken Burns documentary on Prohibition. I'm in the middle of watching another documentary series that he has on America, which has like uh, one on the Brooklyn Bridge, the Statue of Liberty, um, different things like that. So I'm halfway through that. I'm really enjoying that. And I think that's about it. <laughs> I've rambled on for long enough. Um, I just wanted to remind you that the next shop update is going to be next Sunday, May 26th at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Don't forget there's a coupon code called SOCKS2013, which is good for 10% off your entire order through the end of May. The shop is at SockBunnyStudios.etsy.com. Don't forget to post your daily workouts in the workout thread. And don't forget to join in the hand spun knit along, crochet along, and weave along. I guess that's it. Ah, it's been a crazy afternoon. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will come back. And thanks for putting up with me and all my insane Doctor Who love and my insane Flamingo love and my insane Bunny love. And I hope you have a, a great week. Keep on crafting. Bye.